What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about the iPad Pro. Apple today announced the new iPad Pro. Now the iPad Pro is aimed towards business and education institutions. So getting straight into it, we'll start off with the display. The latest iPad paves the way for a beautiful 12.9 inch retina display that serves up a stunning 2732 by 2048 pixel resolution. In a first ever, the iPad Pro also carries a variable refresh rate feature which kicks in automatically when needed. Now a new accessory is called the Apple Pencil. The device is further enhanced by a slightly tweaked display of the iPad Pro which works perfectly in conjunction with the Apple's own optional pressure sensitive stylus called the Apple Pencil which is sold separately. The best part here being that the pencil can be used along with the touch input from your fingers as well. The device can be charged by plugging this into the lightning port of the new iPad Pro. The Apple Pencil will be available for $99. Moving on to the processor, the iPad Pro features Apple's latest A9 series, in this case the A9X, which is even more powerful than the A9 in the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus. The integration of the A9X in conjunction with 2.GB of RAM within the device provides Apple's latest offering with enough power to handle that stunning larger display. Moving on to the camera, there's an 8 megapixel rear shooting embedded into the back of the device, along with a 5 megapixel front FaceTime HD camera within the tablet. The built-in lithium-ion battery may not be replaceable or interchangeable, but it should do a job perfectly well. Plenty of time to keep productivity at a high and fully utilise the power of the iPad Pro and iOS 9. Moving on to software, as you would have guessed, the iPad Pro will come with iOS 9. This version of iOS will not only have support for the iPad Pro, along with other iPad-specific features such as Split View, Slide Over, and PIP, which is Picker and Picture, but we'll also have iPad Pro exclusive feature which will enable it to run iOS apps in full side by side. Moving on to the colours, Apple have actually decided to stick with the traditional colour options that have proven to be popular over the last few years. With that in mind, the 12 inch iPad Pro will be available in space grey, gold and silver. Moving on to the speakers, unlike the previous iPads, the iPad Pro carries an impressive 4 speaker setup which should guarantee a marked improved in audio quality when tinkering with multimedia content. Now besides the Apple Pencil, there are new accessories for the iPad, such as new smart covers, new smart cases, which will be available for the iPad Pro. There's also the introduction of a smart keyboard design which can be attached to the iPad Pro using the built-in smart connector, which not only powers the keyboard, but receives data as well. The smart keyboard will cost you a good $169. Now the part you've all been waiting for, the price. So the iPad Pro is 32GB with Wi-Fi, $799. The iPad Pro with 128GB and Wi-Fi, $949. And finally, the iPad Pro 128GB with Wi-Fi and cellular, $1,079. Moving on to the release date, the hardware is currently in mass production and will begin to ship in November in time for the holiday shopping season, but there's no word on when pre-orders will go live. So that is it for this video, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, I hope I've given you some useful information about the iPad Pro, it really does look amazing for those that did watch the Apple event you would have seen it. Now for those that haven't watched the Apple event, I will cover all things that were announced including the Apple TV, the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus, also the new iPad Mini. Now all these videos will be coming out at the same time, the iPad Pro is the first video, so just be patient and I will be uploading them. So yeah, that is it for this video, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.